to another YouTube review. Well, today is not going to be your ordinary review that I'm going to be doing today. I'm just really just gonna do it as a vlog kind of style. But uh, with the exception that, you know, we've got a Polo GTI and we're in the northern suburbs of Harare, Zimbabwe at Bardo Brook. So today we've got the 2022 VW Polo GTI. Um, wow, guys, I must say, it looks absolutely amazing i just love the styling of the car it looks much more aggressive as you can see and um so let me just take you through the, the car as you can see it's got the iq light which are essentially your matrix headlights but for vw and as you can see it's got the iconic gti badge right there with a red stripe going through across the grill into the lights and of course it's got the honeycomb uh, styling right there and there you go got the vents and whatnot and near your fog lights down right there and you see it's got a front lip but this is aftermarket um and as we come through the car as you can see it's got 18 inch rims right there which have uh continentals um it's 215 40r r18 18 inch tires continental sports these tires are absolutely perfect for this car as you can see uh just take you through the side of the car the car is actually quite you know this is quite nice and low and it's quite different to the ordinary polo gti it's a bit more aggressive it's a bit more what can i say sporty yeah i think that's the perfect way to say it and you might think this is the golf but no it's actually the polo you know it looks kind of big but yeah this is the updated facelift and what i must say also about the polo gti is this one throughout all the years it used to have the 1.4 liter then from the 1.4 liter it went to the 2 1.8 liter and right now it has the 2 liter turbocharged engine which puts out about 197 to 200 horsepower and 320 newton meters of torque and of course it's front wheel drive so yeah the wheels will always be spinning especially when you do a launch or you know when you do some spirited driving right and uh, as you can see here it's got a bit of a spoiler it's not too much but yeah it stands out quite well so this is the rear of the car as you can see it's got an f1 style diffuser and of course it's got the four pipes of which it's kind of a criminal offense <laughs> because these are actually fake I, I you know i actually wish i had the stick of truth that matt watson usually has on car well but yeah put exhaust pipes which pass the car wow stick of truth in fact these are the actual pipes right there the owner just went for you know more of an aggressive style kind of look just to give it you know of which it looks pretty nice but well as i said it's criminal <laughs> you shouldn't do that and then of course it's got the side skirts right there the panoramic roof right there so yeah guys this is pretty much the exterior of the polo gti and i must say it's an 8 out of 10 for me i think the only fault that i would have is yes the pipes <laughs> right and uh yeah so you can see it's, it sits quite nice and low you know it's a polo gti you know it's the perfect uh startup hatchback as i may say and um it's quite fuel efficient in a way unless you're doing some spirited driving that's when it tends to chow a bit of fuel but i believe this is the perfect car for any person who wants to get into the performance uh vehicle world it's the perfect startup car you just get to learn more from these cars because they are performance cars so once you then eventually step up and you upgrade you'll be able to handle more of these sporty cars with more confidence like the gta actually inspires you to have more confidence on the road because like you know the power is good it's not too much but it's good for like your everyday use and spirited driving it's not too bad you know you can easily live with it you can um do your spirited driving especially when you want to overtake it's got good power for overtaking the only fault that i would possibly give it is the turbo lag it usually has turbo lag but you know it's common with these cars you know what i mean so yeah the polo gti it's, it's, it's a perfect little startup car you know it's got some nice styling this is a perfect car for teenagers you know people my age <coughs> you know well i'm not a teenager but yeah <coughs> I, I guess you know what i mean like it's the perfect startup car for some of us youths. who knew that don't necessarily have the money to buy the amgs that we want but this is perfect enough so right guys let me now just take you through the interior and then we're gonna go for a little bit of a drive all right guys we're now inside the 2022 polo gti 
um, as you can see this is the front steering wheel it's flat bottom and of course it's got the gti badging right there with the red stitching right there and of course it's uh napa leather it's, you know it's quite brand new still you know it's got that new you know smell of a new car the the fabric is just yeah spot on as you can see the controls are quite you know they're the touch sensitive ones there's no more buttons and all of that so you know any little click it will automatically just yeah <coughs> start doing its thing so i'm sh pretty sure this side you operate the front screen right there and then this is for your cruise controls and whatnot so i'm sure you can change the displays you know you can be able to see what you're averaging right there um so you've got your trip your consumption oil temperature speed your rage your overwheel your consumption yeah just the basic stuff and then as we come to this side the, the main screen right there we've got your radio we've got your media we've got your phone you've got your voice and i'm quite happy that it has android auto and apple carplay and mirror link even though mirror link i don't think anyone uses it but yeah so let me just go through the car one you've got your vehicle status and of course i don't know why the germans do this it has the normal polo but this is the polo gti i don't know why they couldn't just you know in the system just put a polo gti something similar to what this car is so yeah that's the only fault i could give the car got your settings uh you know for your tires your light your mirrors instrument cluster time and um yeah that kind of stuff service won't bore you too much with that stuff but yeah this is essentially the infotainment of the car it's not too bad the sound system is pretty good it's actually pretty good and of course this car has got a subwoofer so the bass is even on a whole nother level then of course you've got your climate controls right there and it's got heater seats as usual and then this is your gear lever you've got your sport and whatnot here then it's got your auto start stop your traction off the most important button right there and you've got your modes so for your modes you've got eco you've got normal you've got sport and individual so in individual you can basically just configure it to your driving style as you'd want it you know of course this car has i'd like to believe has adaptive as an adaptive suspension so you can easily just configure it to whatever you want and um yeah that's essentially it then you've got your seats then all leather got your panoramic roof um i like the seats they're quite comfortable they hug you they keep you in place it's more of like a bucket seat but more of like a comfortable bucket seat it's like the ones you find in uh m5 i'd like to say quite similar but yeah it's not as exactly like the amg which are essentially recaros but yeah you've got your nice leather seats here as i might as i could say the car is quite very spacious eh? it's not too bad uh, you know five people could easily fit in this with no issue at all but you'd have to be probably the average right if you're a bit tall yeah you have guys complaining at the back <laughs> and um yeah as i mentioned it's got a panoramic roof the most important thing you need to have on your gti panoramic <laughs> as you know what they say about panoramics and um yeah so that's essentially your gti your polo gti so definitely would recommend this to any person who wants to start off with uh you know a hatchback that's a bit sporty but also you can daily it and also you know it's got a bit of power this is the perfect startup car it's nice and comfortable it's got good power it's uh, spacious it's quite practical um you can easily live with this without any troubles and of course i've got to mention it's got your aluminium pedals right there your accelerator and your brakes right there and um yeah this is your polo gti so right now i'm just gonna take it for a drive and just show you guys how the car drives how it feels on the road and yeah that's essentially it so i hope you guys enjoy this polo gti this is the first review of the year so yeah let's take it for a spin now so i guess we're now going for a drive in the polo gti so i'm as of right now i'm in uh, the normal setting which is your eco mode as you can see right there we're in eco so i'll just go through all the different kind of mo modes and whatnot so um first things first um the suspension as usual gti is quite firm but um luckily this one has got an adaptive uh, suspension so you can easily just change your settings from being a firm one to maybe a bit more softer to your liking but so far it's not too bad um, okay okay and um i forgot to mention 
got the 6 speed uh, DSG gearbox and as you guys already know the DSG yeah, it shifts absolutely very quick so yeah let's just see what the Germans did to this car it's not too bad it's got a nice exhaust note yeah, it's nice but anyways it's too boring for us to drive an Eco let's go into normal now to see how it feels not too bad over the bumps it's quite you feel it but it's not as bad it's nicely softly sprung quite firm yeah, as you can imagine uh, so right now i'm just trying to learn the car i'm not going to go crazy in all of that just want to learn it to see what it's like how it's easy to drive like you can easily daily this car every day guys it's not really bad it's the perfect startup car for anyone who wants to get into the performance world of things you know it handles quite nice you can easily live with this and you know it's just the perfect it's just ideal it's, it's got good power especially when you want to overtake but as i would like to always say with front wheel drives they're not really stable especially when you're going you know high speeds and whatnot so yeah but uh, so far it's good lane keeping assist uh, so whenever you want to turn that off you can turn it off but yeah right now it's turned off and then also we just want to touch on the brakes Eesh, guys the brakes are solid guys <laughs> like uh, the stopping power is yeah, exceptionally very well it's good and um, yeah so coming from a person who drives the golf gti it's quite similar to the golf in a way but i feel like this just packs a bit of a more punch since it's a bit more newly updated the goal for that app is a bit old but yeah this one i think the germans uh, have got it right the polo but i'm quite keen to see what the differences would be with the Golf gti now the 2022 now like what's really the major difference with that one but so far so good so now let's see sport mode okay changes into sport now whoa <laughs> yeah. So it does have the DSG fast guys. Just see where I can test that out. But so far with the gearbox, it's quick, ships very nicely. Yeah, very nice. I mean we're driving a bit slowly, but yeah, you know it's in traffic. It's always yeah, a mess. So my bro, I just want to ask you a question. Right? Um, what made you give the Polo GTI? If you don't mind me asking. Performance, number one. Uh, it's got a lot of uh, torque and horsepower. Mm -hmm. uh, affordability. Um, obviously the Golf, now you're in the big league. Yeah. So if you can't afford a Golf GTI, um, Polo GTI is the next best alternative. And uh, if you're looking at the 2022 Polo GTI, mm -hmm. There's so many similarities with the with the Golf, especially if you look at the interior, mm -hmm. if you look at the steering wheel and the setup. Mm -hmm. uh, and I actually prefer the this uh, this um, gear lever, gear lever yeah. than the the Golf one. Mm -hmm. I think this one is looks more like the one in the um, what's the the big one called again? Uh, that big one, the, the sedan. Golf. Yeah, the sedan. Wait, no, the sedan. You mean the Tiguan? The Tiguan, yes. Uh -huh. So. Basically, affordability and performance, you get it all in one uh, with the Polo GTI. But of course, uh, Golf GTI is the ultimate, and someday, God willing, we get there. So, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Okay, so what are the top five things you like about the Polo? And then also the top five things you dislike about the Polo? I'll start with the, what I like. Uh, it's, the, it's the look and feel of the polo it's uh it's quite spacious the trunk has a lot of boot space as well mm -hmm. uh they increased the, the 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 liter size of the boot space from the previous generation, the generation. Golf gti uh, -huh. uh the 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 the, 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 the interior the interior seats they've got a more sporty feel so they introduced these bucket seats in this one as well mm -hmm. that's what i like um and they're actually quite comfortable yeah. they're, they're quite comfortable yeah. um it, it handles the turns quite well mm -hmm. uh if you like traveling uh, mountainous regions it's got very good grip and traction mm -hmm. so performance wise it's good economy wise yeah. i mean it's a 2.0 so mm -hmm. 
it, it does it does consume quite a bit a but bit, especially uh, when you're doing spirited driving <laughs> exactly especially when you're in sport mode there yeah, yeah you feel it but i mean you know, there's a price to pay for performance so yeah, true, true. uh also with this one uh, also like the sound system it comes with the beats audio system, system so yeah. over and above that you can customize it even further there's mm. two amplifiers okay. for the interior speakers and the one for the subwoofer, the subwoofer well. okay. so yeah i think aesthetics performance yeah. affordability it's, on point. it's all in one uh, yeah. when it comes to polo gti okay. and uh its main rivals i don't know the which FST. yeah those yeah. fiesta F st i don't know if this one has many rivals in terms of what i think it's yeah. one of the best yeah the best it actually is mm. so i think the only competitor you can actually compare it to is the fiesta st but then I think with the Golf, that's where it's a bit more, you know, competitors, you know, you've got your Hyundai, i30N, yeah. your S3, you know, that kind of stuff. Exactly. Yeah. So... And what about dislikes? What would you say you dislike about this car? Honestly, the only thing I dislike about it is not a Golf, it's not a Golf 8. Yeah. Uh, that's the only thing. This one is like the little brother. Uh -huh. um, otherwise, from my driving experience, uh, I'm 100% satisfied. Uh, I had a... A Polo R line before this one, okay. So the economy was very good, it was a 1.0. 1. 1. Uh, yeah, the economy was very good, mm. so from that perspective, uh -huh. then yes. But uh, other than that, there's you really can't hate on a Polo GTI, uh, <laughs> it leaves heads turning. The, the LED lights, lights at yeah, night, exactly. when you pull up wherever you go at night with the lights, it's just uh -huh. it's eye catching, everyone's gonna turn heads. Turn heads. You know, so yeah, I think mm. it's a, it's an all-in-one package. If you're yeah. looking for a sporty hatchback, yeah, uh, this is the way to go. The way to go, right? yeah. yeah. I think the you know as a consumer, I think people would appreciate that. You know, so do you have any future plans with this car in terms of modifications, or you're just gonna keep it stock? Uh, obviously, I'm not gonna do any downpipes or stage tuning, <laughs> nothing like that. I like to leave what the German designed as is. Uh -huh uh i've already done some mods exterior but minor, minor uh minor. just a front lip side skirt red yeah. diffuser f1 light just yeah. to give it that extra bit of uh flavor mm -hmm. but other than that i'm not going to touch it already comes with um um shutterproof windows mm -hmm. there's a tint mm -hmm. you've got the sunroof honestly yeah, I, I yeah. <laughs> there's nothing uh, well what else what what else can i add yet maybe to overkill because it's yeah. As standard as it is, the the alloy rims, eighteen yeah. inch, it's it's, it's perfect. It's perfect for that. Yeah. yeah. So for now, it's, it's it's good for now. Probably in a couple of years, yeah. trade it in and hopefully upgrade to a golf. Upgrade to a golf. But yeah, yeah. I'm sure you'll be a, a golf for just yeah, Take all the boxes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, that's good. So right, guys, now I'll just put it into sport. I think we've got a clear road here just to be able to put the car into. It actually pulls, eh? The torque, you can actually feel it, yes. Yeah. That front wheel drive, you feel you that feel, power. You really feel it, eh? <laughs> yeah, no, that's sweet. And of course, the DSG gearbox, I love it. But hey, you know, with, since I have got a Golf, like, I think you can feel the torque more in the Polo than in the Golf. I don't know why, for some odd reason. Like, it, it just pulls a bit more. But yeah, overall the driving dynamics are they're pretty good. And for, for you know a startup car, it's perfect. It's quite ideal. You know, it's got good power. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's just that, guys. There's a lot of traffic, so you can't really push it that much. But trust me, guys, this car. You just have to experience it from the inside to just know, you know, what this car is really capable of. It's honestly an absolutely amazing. And I'm quite keen to see what the next Polo GTI will be like. Hopefully they will keep the four-cylinder engine and not do what AMG did with the C63, I mean, two-liter. I don't know why they did that, but, you know, we appreciate the VW guys. They seem to listen to their customers, but I think the only fault that I would give this car is that there's too much, you know, touch uh, sensitive controls. I feel like a bit more buttons would have made it a bit more nicer. Because, you know, it does leave fingerprints all over and whatnot. Like, it, it's nice and it's, it's modern, but, you know, just some buttons would, you know, make it a bit more. Yeah. 
yeah just on the touch as well you yeah. see on the steering wheel we've got those uh those controls there they're all touch sensitive yeah. uh, at first it's very annoying i mean unintentionally you want to turn you can you just wanna... change your song or you know it will change the view on the dashboard yeah. Uh, but it takes some getting used to, especially when the aircon controls there. It, yeah. it takes some getting used to. Uh, but once you get used to it, it's. But uh, regardless, I, I still prefer touch. I think the next one, yeah. they should just reintroduce the buttons. The buttons, yeah. And, I think just a yeah. mixture of both would be true. Mm. Considering all the world is just going, you know, everything digital. I mean, just a few buttons wouldn't hurt, actually. Yeah. But yeah, overall, guys, the car, yeah, it's sweet. I think I really, really like the suspension setup. You know, it's firm, but you can easily get it. And in sport, it's not too harsh, but, you know, it's, it's the perfect thing. You know, it's, it's what you want. So, from a consumer's perspective, um, I think it ticks all the boxes. In terms of uh, reliability, I think it's quite reliable. What would you say? Have you had any issues with it, or it's been... No, I think uh, the standard, uh, as it comes with standard, it's, it's very reliable. Yeah. Um, suspension, the traction, yeah. um, the, 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 the rims as well, the yeah. alloys, the, the, the exhaust, everything is it's, it's perfect. It's perfect um, yeah. It's just all about maintenance, yeah, um, maintenance, but really you cannot, you cannot add more unless you are a, a speed freak. <laughs> yeah, but... But the standard, I mean, it's it's, it's already it's, it's out of this world. Well, well, yeah, yeah, I can agree as well. But yeah, I think one fault that I could also give it is that the gearbox is a bit jerky. But you mm. know, it's common with TSGs. Mm. They always do that, but you know, they don't seem to know exactly which gear to go into. But nonetheless, you just have how it you know, sh shifts quickly. And of course, this is a fruit fruit bag. It's got the it's got the fruit pack. It's got the pops and bangs. See, the torque. It's insane. The DSG farts in the yeah. Polo GTI are not mm -hmm. as loud as the, especially on the gear shift. So you hear it when you when you pull and you when you flow the accelerator. You feel yeah. it from inside, uh, but exterior wise, you're not gonna get like what you get in a Polo in a Golf. Yeah. Uh, sorry, uh, GTI. But yeah. uh, at least you can feel the power as well in the pull, especially when you wanna overtake. It's very responsive. Yeah. Uh, it's very powerful. And I like also how it doesn't have, you know, like with the newer cars, they seem to have like um, engine noise coming through all of the speakers, like fake noise. But with this one, I seem not to hear any of that actually. You're actually just hearing the exhaust, in my opinion. Like, you know, with other cars, yeah, you tend to hear those fake noises that come out of the speakers. And from the outside, you know, there's actually nothing going on. Oh, you see that, guys, the pool. Like, and we're going at such slow speeds, guys. Like, but. And you can hear that the intake noise is shh. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, it's alright guys. Oof. This car, yeah, nah, 10 out of 10. The perfect startup car for anyone, in my opinion. No. So I think here we might have some room to just give it a small pull. Let's see what it feels like. right there it was using grip but yeah the power is good guys ah, it's not too bad and i'm just trying to fight the urge for the lane assist guys it's really just pulling me back <laughs> but yeah it's not too bad you can easily do with it and the brakes I'm sure you heard that for part right there, guys. <laughs> Ooh, sweet noises. Yeah. Nah, 
I guess. This car literally smells a liter. Literally. And the turbo lag actually, it, it's not too much. You know, it's there, but you know, the power's coming in whenever you want it to come. Especially when you're in manual mode. You know, it kicks in instantly. But of course, you know, with turbocharged cars, they always have that lag, some sort of lag. But yeah, it's not too bad in the Polo. You know, it's got good power. You know, you, you also don't want a situation where you have a car that, you know, has hopefully too much power. But this one, yeah, it's perfect. turn right there oh man sweet 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 alrighty let's head back and of course guys it's got your reverse camera and it's got the sensors and whatnot Give it a small pull right here. Whenever you wanted to stop, the exhaust mode. Yeah. I just want to turn traction off and just see how it does. When you turn traction off, like it doesn't cut the power. You know, the power just, you know, it, it spins, but you know, you just have to be able to control it. gonna end the review here guys i hope you guys enjoyed this polo gti as much as i did it's, it's, it's always a pleasure you know having guys need to review their car and i uh, appreciate you know your time bro for letting me let me give me the chance to review this car this is the first review of the year and we had started it with a banger of course 2022 polo gti what more could you ask for guys so hope you guys could enjoy the review and if you are considering getting a polo gti i would definitely recommend this car definitely especially if it's like a startup car and you know it's well within your budget definitely I, I'd, I'd say go for it you know it's practical it's got good power it's very stylish it looks aesthetically very pleasing you know it's got all the modern features you've got your cruise control adaptive cruise control to say on that note you know your sound system spot on you got your apple carplay android auto as i mentioned when i was doing the interior and uh yeah you know you've got the gti badging so whenever when anyone sees it they know what this car is truly truly capable of so yeah i guess so i hope you guys enjoy the review stay tuned for more reviews to come and uh yeah and that's it from me guys peace